Taylor, you just start off. With uh, let's just start off with the Ruger here. Uh, the Ruger SR9C uh, ships with um, two magazines. One it has a uh, 17 capacity with this little slip-on grip. What this really is is a full-size uh, full-size grip. I mean, full-size magazine that goes with the SR9. And in addition, it ships with a a 10 round magazine. So um, we have a clear chamber here. Get your finger in it, nothing in it cleared. Um, so um, you pop in a 10 round, you've got a low profile, you've got two fingers on there, and uh, nice feel, nice fit. If you're at the range, you want a larger capacity, pop in the uh, larger magazine with the little uh, extension on here, and essentially what you end up with is, is an SR9. Um, because now you can get a, f a full size grip on there. So this, what this gun, well actually both of them do, but they have a nice, uh, you know, you can go from a, a kind of a compact to a full size just by, by changing the magazine, plus your capacity goes up much higher. Once again, clear. Um, some of the basic features of it, uh, it does have a, uh, there's your uh, slide lock right here. It does have a safety, and the safety feels uh, it's pretty good. It's 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 not very easy to get to if you're holding the weapon, you know, like like a like a 1911. So it's it's almost a two-handed, or you needed to turn it sideways uh, to be able to, to work that. It is ambidextrous. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, it does have a safety. You could probably could carry it with with it off, but but this trigger is is really you know it's really light and really quick and once again check out that it's cleared so so when you pull that trigger um, it's more like more like I guess you'd say more Glock like it's got that little safety lever in there but it's a uh, it's it's um it's not a heavy pull at all but uh, if I was carrying this concealed you know it's kind of a toss-up whether I'd want to carry that with the safety on or safety off, but with such a light trigger, I probably would carry it on. Uh, let's see here. Now we've got the uh, PX4 Storm uh, cleared. Uh, it ships with a 13 round, two 13 round magazines. Oh, and if I didn't mention it earlier, the Ruger ships with one of each, both a 17 and a uh, 10 round. And it does come with one sleeve, but the uh, the PX4 Storm ships with two 13-round magazines. Uh, one of them has the little uh, in little ingenious pop-down uh, picky extension for you. So when you put that magazine in there, you've got 13 plus one. Um, this one has the decocker, so you can be double action, cleared, double action on the first shot. Or you can pull the hammer back. You can actually decock the uh, the hammer, and this is a full safety, so nothing works on, on this end. And that's the general, pretty much highlights. There's a lot of videos out there, and I think I've explained it in some other videos. But let's get over the like um, usage and, and carrying. Both of these firearms are in your larger class of of compacts. They're not 238s. They're not LCPs. They're not they're not uh, bodyguards. Um, when you look at them from this angle, the the Ruger is just a little bit. Let's get a little light on this. is is a little longer if you do them from muzzle to muzzle. If you hold it up like that, you can see that that's a it's just a hair longer. Now, when you hold them like this, the maybe I can get this up close. The, the PX4 Storm is just a little thicker. In terms of height, 
if they both both have a magazine in there. Let's see. Or let's just let's just pull one out. In terms of uh, the height, the uh, the Beretta's just barely a little bit taller, but they're they're pretty close. Um, both of them have have really nice three dot sights. This is the uh, this is the Beretta, and this is the Ruger SR9C. Um, for me, I shoot both of these better than any any pistol that I have. They both shoot great. Now, now the Breda, when I first went to the range, uh, I was getting tight patterns, but I was about three inches to the left in a tight pattern on my target, so I ended up drifting my sights. I pulled the, the front to the left a little bit and the back to the right. I tend to shoot that way almost all my pistols. It must just be, the, you know, how I am, but, um, but I do that to almost all of them, and and if you've ever seen those targets at the range, it looks like a five of diamonds, you know, like a deck of cards where you got a, a diamond in the, the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and a bullseye in the center. I can sit there at, at 21 feet and 30 feet and just bang those um, all day long and not, not really not have any floaters. Either one of these, both of these pistols are extremely, extremely accurate. Um, but for concealed carry, they're uh, they're a little thicker. But I've been uh, I've been working with both of them, and I, and I I really don't have any issues with either one. You know, I, I was carrying the 238 for the longest, and kind of wanted to go up to a nine millimeter and something with a little bit more capacity. And uh, I, I'm kind of rotating my carries, but I've been um, carrying both of these, and they both carry really comfortable. They're they're not. Uh, they're not too much problem at all. Uh, if you end up getting a a uh, little holster, I know holsters are very very personal thing, but I find that that if, if you're going to carry these inside the waistband, you kind of want the thinnest holster that I can, that you can get. So um, Uncle Mike's size one. If that'll zoom in on there, there it goes. That seems to work really nice for uh, the SR9 and size 16. Uh, Uncle Mike's uh, seems to work pretty good for the Beretta, the subcompact that fits in there. You know, but fairly nice, and this makes it really thin. So you, if you do keep it on the on your right side of your hip, it doesn't uh, protrude too much, and seems to be pretty comfortable. Um, if you go pick these guys up, the things, the, the the differences between the two, that if you're trying to make a decision is, for one, you know they've got a lot of pros. They both shoot extremely well, extremely accurate. Uh, the differences in them when you when you practice with them enough is, if you go to a gun store and pick them up, the first time you pick up the SR9, it's going to feel good. It's going to feel balanced. It's got a little indention right in here, so it doesn't feel very thick and nice little little beaver tail back here gives you a nice little purchase on there and feels feels really comfortable um, the PX4 the one thing I noticed is because it's got a shorter barrel it without any without a magazine in loaded with uh, cartridges it'll feel like top heavy it'll feel really really goofy at first and then if you put in a, a loaded mag, it'll feel it'll feel extremely extremely balanced. It just uh, uh, that one's for the Ruger. Suddenly, then you put a loaded magazine there. It feels perfect. It feels right. If you know because there's there's a weight here and there's a weight here, and that top weight actually helps keep the muzzle uh, rise down. One thing I've noticed uh, shooting the same ammunition is the Beretta seems to shoot softer than the Ruger. Uh, not by much, 
uh, and, and nothing like uh, to be to really expand on but running a 115 124 and 147 grain um, you can definitely tell a difference uh, this one just feels uh, it just handles the recoil a lot better uh, but not not huge and so so that's something to consider um, once this this one is in is in single action um, it's just a lot it's a lot easier to get a lot of a lot of follow-up shots it, you, it, just, it just is because you can sit there and that triggers back and you sit there and just go plink 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 and, and just just stay on target and this was not bad at all it's just uh, it's uh, it's it's got a nice crisp trigger it feels good uh, but but this one you know starts feeling more like a single action which which is what it is um, so um, that's kind of the, one of the things I've seen um, the the cons would be uh, you know it is a little thicker uh, some people complain about these uh, protrusions of the decocker sticking out and that uh, sometimes it cuts into them I haven't seen it be a problem for me it doesn't seem to bother me uh, with this little Uncle Mike's you know up there it, it covers it pretty nice it doesn't really you know if I lay it really flat you know right there you can see it push out and it may bother some but like I said it, it doesn't bother me at all but um, but you know these are definitely well not definitely but I don't think they're like you're in your pocket uh, compacts even though they call this one the subcompact but the nice thing about them is they're the smaller you know they're they're just a small full size is what they are instead of or a big compact you know look at it either way that you want to but but um, you know you can't go wrong with either one of these guys um, one other feature that I've noticed well not a feature but when you rack the slide on, on the, the SR9 you know it's, it's, it's heavy but if you listen to that and I, I there's nothing wrong with it but it just sounds loose the Beretta especially if you're a female it's just so much easier to rack and it's very smooth classic Beretta every Beretta I've ever ever owned it feels like you know butter between two two pieces of glass it's just it's just real easy to rack um, so that may be something to consider if you're you know have a weaker hands or you know your petite uh, or female uh, that that that's something that uh, to consider because it's, it's it is just just so much easier to, to do uh, Ruger's is striker fired uh, PX4 obviously is a uh, is hammer fired so anyway those are the differences between the two maybe these of uh, would be of interest uh, you know, if I had to have a choice between them that'd be really tough because the first time I shot the SR9 I was blown away you know I got these little talon grips on here I've got some in order for the PX4 just to give it a little bit more uh, grip train but but once I got this one sighted in um, I'm, I'm really liking the Beretta a little bit more than the um, than the Ruger but you know if I had to go to a, a range believe it or not a range competition I'd shoot either one of these instead of a long four or five inch you know barrel I just shoot them that that well so uh, anyway hope this gives you some good information if you have any questions let me know but uh, SR9C we'll just finish up with some close-ups Nice, uh, nice balanced firearm, and finally with the uh, Retta PX4 compact, subcompact that is. So anyway, hope this helps. Be safe. See you later.